You know what I love about design? I love before and after pictures. So check this out. This is a before picture of a backyard. Okay, I know you're thinking before. Well, looks pretty good to me, right? Yeah, I think it looks great, but wait until you see the after. This after was created by Lavender Landscape Design with owner Haley too in charge. And this is Sarah. This is your beautiful home, Sarah. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that's all I can say. I know, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it really, truly is. I love before and after pictures. Haley, when you sent these to me, I was like, no way, mm -hmm. no way. Okay, first of all, the before picture, Okay, not that bad, right? No, I mean, no. but what was missing for you, Sarah, you and your family? I think we just wanted something different. We really wanted a pool. We have a family now and just having the kids swim in the summer and um, just a couple other things we wanted to add to it. It wasn't bad before, just right. something new. Right, well, there was no pool. Right, and That's the pool. that. Yes. Besides that, okay. Yes. So you reached out to Haley at Lavender Landscape and yes. you had some requests. You and your husband, Chris, wanted certain things. Right. What were they? We wanted um, a space that we can have the kids play, but also the adults have their own space. Um, so we had the basketball court, the pool, and then we have a fire pit with a table and loungers and just kind of like different spaces. For yeah, us. and you told uh, your husband told me in the jacuzzi was definitely and the jacuzzi. Yes. Okay, he wanted the jacuzzi. <laughs> okay. Yes. And Haley, you tell me that that is a very typical checklist that yes. people want. Maybe yes. not the basketball court, but yeah. Yeah. Um, that's pretty typical for people. So kind of walk me through the process when when Sarah reached out to you and you saw her backyard. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like a blank canvas for you, isn't it? Yep, that was just another day at the office walking into mm -hmm. her backyard. She had actually sent me pictures prior and I knew right away, oh, easy peasy, we've got that. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> the process really starts um, with an initial. I wanna get to know, because um, I hadn't met Chris before, um, so talk to both of them, it's really yeah. important to me. Figure out the family's needs, that major wish list, which was very common. Um, yeah but how they wanted to interact with the space. Very important. And then we go into design and we're building that custom for them, not for any other family, for them. Right, so, so checklist is a checklist, but how you do it, where it goes, that all of that is really unique to every homeowner? Yes, yes, different design styles. We're not a one trick pony. We're very versatile. So mm. they liked this a little bit more contemporary style that we have here, but we can certainly swing into um, the boho, the Tuscan, the Spanish, the anything under the sun, we have experienced designers that can handle any design style. Oh, wow, and it is spectacular. Um, so, Sarah, tell me, what is your favorite part, place, here in your new backyard? Probably on the loungers, <laughs> next to the pool. The Baja shelf is really nice because you can just get in and sit down and you're still getting your suntan on and yeah. you can also watch the kids play. So. Yeah. And I love how, you, and privacy was important oh, to you yes. as well. So you were able, Haley, to kind of create, adding some of the, the trees and the bushes, a, a more of a private space for her and the family. Yes. yes, what you see behind the pool is actually what we call a Hollywood hedge. And so over time, that's gonna grow into this beautiful green wall and give them the privacy they really wanted. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. and the waterfalls. Yes. Hello. <laughs> yes, that is actually probably my favorite part. I <laughs> think those are spectacular. Yes. And one of the things that I love about that, uh, that you do, Haley, is that you you think of things that we don't really think about like Sarah you wanted the the X's the, yes. the things and and you said originally to go all the way across right mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but Haley said no nope, not gonna work mm -hmm. why well when we're talking about furniture they have a bar that runs right through um, the center of where that cross pattern would have been yeah and it's not a great party when somebody tips back in their bar stool <laughs> and hits the deck because the ground would be uneven ah. so that's just an example of things and when you're talking about function and form going together nicely, tipping your guests over backwards in their chair is something we try to avoid. <laughs> not a good idea, not a, which is why we're all unique and it becomes functional for yes. us. Yes. So on a scale of one to 10, what do you say, Sarah? A uh, hundred. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, well Amazing. good job. Good job, <laughs> Haley. <laughs> all right, and I'm sure you want to know more. Here's more information. Lavender Landscape Design, you want to learn more, reach out to them at hello at lavenderlandscape.com or learn more about them at lavenderlandscape.com. They serve Phoenix, Scottsdale, Tempe, Chandler, Gilbert, and Mesa.